this is uh, number two. The first one didn't record, so I'm going to show you how to uh, get a control line here with the width of, say, 20 and a radius known of 118. I'm going to show you how to go, and in this case, we're going to go two in two foot or increments. It could be any unit, inches, but that's long radius is how you lay these out. A little long to, you know, I don't have 118. Yeah, I guess I do have 118 foot tape, but. Sometimes you don't have an 818 feet to lay out, and that's the purpose of this video. Uh, generally, you're going to be laying a large radius out along a wall, and there's going to be something much closer than 118 stuff that's in the way, especially on a job site. So here's how we go. So we need the half the width of the, so in this case, it's going to be half a 20. So we're going to do W, small w equals, 20 divided by 2, enter, now it goes equal 20 divided by 2, where that came from. And then here we're going to have the rise, the high point, enter, and then, so how we're going to do the high point, we're going to go, we're looking for so this is showing both. We're getting here's the full width ten. There's our triangle there. Uh, let's see if I can explain that right there. There's ten and there's 118. And we're looking for this leg right here, which is this dimension. Alright. So I'm gonna show you how to calculate that one right now. So equals uh, 118 minus this, uh, yeah, that's going to get the high point. So let's just do this one first. Yeah, so to do that, we need to go 118 minus this will give us the high point. That's the, the control line. This is the number we're really looking for right here. That's what we're going to calculate right now. All right, so equals 118 minus square root of 118 squared minus uh, they can't zoom it's I'm zoomed in too far but it's b3 b3 close parenthesis enter that's our high point but that doesn't really look right though does it for two four five <laughs> is that even possible uh, square root oh yeah because I didn't square that too all right so there's our hard point, 4245. So it's 118 squared minus B3 squared, right, 10. So 118 squared minus 10 squared will give us 117, right? And then we did what we did is we subtracted that from 118. So 118 minus that gives us the high point, All right? Now you have the high point. So we're going to use that. So what's happening now is we're going to do this. If you can see this X, we're looking for the, uh, at a certain distance, we're looking for the height. So call it X. So this orange triangle here is what we're looking for. We're going to take 118 minus that dimension, which is here Y, will leave us with A. And we're going to subtract A from the high point, which will give us B. All right, so let's see if we can do that. And let's start out with zero, enter two, enter. That's gonna be two foot increments. Copy those two like that and then paste it down. We'll go down far, 16 feet, because it, it works if you continue in the negative direction too. So we can go past this control, this radius went down here. And here's our control line. We can go two more feet and measure in a negative direction. So I'll show you that too. <clears throat> Alright, so we're looking for B. So we're going to go, everything's going to get subtracted from here. So the, the full, let's just do it in, uh, let's do it with number four because it kind of looks like where four is at here. We're going to go equals. So let's not even do that. Let's just go equals in my mind. 42450 point. Four two four five minus. So we started out. We know that's the last step, and then we have uh, x. So we're looking for a. So one eighteen minus. 
I'm going to put a parentheses around the whole thing. 118 minus, and then we're going to go square root of 118 squared minus, in this case here, it's going to be 4 squared, close parentheses, and then close parentheses again. So 118 minus y here will give us that. And then we're going to say 4245 minus all of that. And that should give us the increment at 4 feet right here. 367. Let's see how that works. Let's go uh, equals. Let's copy and paste this. Just to see if the numbers work. Control C equals control V enter and we get three five six seven three five six seven so that numbers work so now what we're going to do is we're just going to follow the numbers and get the cells from that so here I'm going to do the same thing to two is equal this one here is going to be a locked cell so let's go B4 we're going to lock that so the locked reference minus open parenthesis 118, that's going to be a locked cell reference. Minus square root, open parenthesis, and then it loses the, it's trying to help you and it's screwing me up. But anyway, square root of 118, that's locked again. squared minus, in this case it's 2 squared, and then open, close, close, I think that's what we wanted right there. So 4075, so number 2 is, I'm at 4 feet, 3, 6, so that's wrong. Oh, no, here, because it's going to 2 foot. This one's referencing the number 2, so that's... 4075, 4075 here, it just says 6, but <coughs> it's actually 5. I rounded up incorrectly when I did this, not to scale things. So that's looking good. I mean, that's really, we could just bring that right there. And then if you want, we can take this and show what that is. Control C, Control V. That shows what it is here, right? And. Take them both and move them over. I think this one's done, right? Yeah, this one. Okay, so I don't want to do that though. I want to take this one and paste it up so that it's zero. It, we're subtracting zero, right? There's the triangle here is the diagonal is 118, and the rise is zero, so the run here would be zero. So we're not subtracting anything from that. So that makes sense. And we can just paste this all the way down. And then what we have is, uh, let's go to negative 16, should be 0 0.6653, 16, 0 0.6653. Uh, here we go, it did work the first time, I pasted it here, 16.6653, and if we zoom in at 16 feet, 0.6653. So that's how it works in the negative direction too, and all these should match up. And uh, let's go back, and you want to take a screenshot of this, right? Then you know you don't have to figure it all out, and and this could be incorporated into that formula. So instead of saying B four, let's see what this one is. It's uh, you can take this, copy that, Control C, put it here. Let's see, Control V, put a parentheses around it. Around the whole thing, enter, right? And then uh, we could take that, copy that, control C, and instead of B4, square root A2, that would have to be locked, right? We could put a dollar sign there, dollar sign there, dollar sign there, dollar sign there, and then B3, B3. B3 would be locked. 
enter because that would be and then you could actually say b3 you could say uh, open parenthesis instead of b3 you could go a b2 which would be locked starting to go down a rabbit hole b2 squared oh but it would be b2 divided by two close parenthesis one two and then that would you could do that i think you could take control c and then you could take that instead of b4 control v enter and then you can just take this whole thing control c this is uh, a7 a7 paste it there equals control v enter uh, maybe got lucky 4075 looks like we got it and then you could paste that down and then paste it up too and then you wouldn't need the, these cells right <clears throat> if that ended up right I'm not sure that it did you'd have to check let's see Just with more and more and more manipulating then it's just a little uh th this is, gets into you might as well just be writing a code to do this uh but i don't know how to do that so four two four five four seven five three there you go and then 10 feet at zero and then you start going in the negative direction we said 16 was negative six six five there you go man so i hope that helps you in your career uh i know it's more and more and more when you start getting into Excel. But in the field, you don't really do this. You just do it you know, in your notebook. And uh, if you have Excel in your phone, it works great because uh, I, I never, you know, up until only just a few years ago, maybe two years, three years ago, I started putting it into the phone. Uh, up until then, I used the uh, Construction Master. And then in the latest version, pretty much, I think in 2015, the Construction Master Pro came out with uh, uh, if you hit arc so if you put in uh, 118 and then you type in arc or circ I can't remember I think it's arc 118 arc then you put in 20 width or 20 run which was weird because it really seems like it'd be half but you put in 20 run 118 arc and then you hit arc, 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 arc. It'll go through the length of the arc, the width that you have, uh, the, the angle for the arc, the area for the arc, the area for the uh, what section above the arc here, this area that we've got here. And then it'll start cycling through uh, whatever, you, whatever your default is, 16 inches or two feet, it'll, it'll give you the cord lengths. Uh, and it can also give you, depending on the, how you set it up, the default, it'll give you from the high point, let's say your, your line was up here, it'll give you the drop there. So instead of the rise from the inside, it'll give you the dimension coming down from the top. So it'll be from the line up or from the top down. So there's different ways to get that arc because you could have the arc here like this, and then you might be measuring from up above right in this case we're measuring the opposite direction right we're doing it this way but like i said the construction master pro you can set it up whatever increment you want on center and you can set it up from going above it down actually it would be i think right here it gives it to you from the right at the tangent point to that arc so there you go that's what I know that's what I think I can explain pretty as much as I can explain in a video for uh, laying out long radiuses in the field I hope that helps you in your career and thanks for watching